Hello, the purpose of this video is to look at a subject that many people find a challenge. I'm going to look at the issue of TTS. TTS is an issue that is common to a number of people. It is the amount of text that we find on websites and not everybody is in actual fact in a position of being able to read comfortably the amount of uh, information that is on a website. We also find that uh, we are in a position that people are having various disabilities or challenges in actually reading that. As you can see, I've typed in text-to-speech, which should have been text-to-speech, which just goes to show how things can go. Text-to-speech. Now, it's a subject all of its own. On YouTube you'll find there are some videos, but not a vast number. What I'd like to do is to show you how, first of all, you could download this particular resource to actually produce the sound for you through a uh, software program. Obviously, you don't want to get it for free. I'm going to give you one sample which is going to be through something called Browse Allowed. Now, Browse Allowed is also going to show you the sort of users that may actually find it of benefit. And there are a number of people who may have uh, the following issues English is a second language, dyslexia, or low literacy and reading skills. There are 7 million people with literacy problems, 3.5 million people with dyslexia, and 8.6 million registered disabled people. Now, this is potentially just in the UK, for example, and maybe a number of people in those particular categories in, in the UK. So what I'm going to show you now is where you can actually download the facility to uh, obtain that software for free. And I'm also going to show you here the fact that there is instructions on exactly how to go through that particular process. And I'm looking at the PC version of it. You'll see the page takes you through exactly what you're going to find in your PC download. Now it also states to you that you can do it on a corporate firewall. So there you go, that can actually save the file and you're going to have uh, browse allowed as an option there. Now that's not going to be uh, what everybody needs. Some people might be looking for something where they can actually put onto a website. If you're a business or if you're a user of a developer of a website, you might be looking for alternative options. And here you'll see I'm taking you to a website called vozme.com. Vozme.com. And you'll see that I've highlighted the section webmasters. There's also the speech in browsers. And you'll see from this page, when you go to it yourself, should you choose to do so, that you'll find that you've got the selection or option of installing the source coding behind it to actually make your websites audible friendly. You'll notice the JavaScript is being used there, and we also notice we've got HTML, and um, we also have some very basic uh, resources there that will go directly into your website that you can then use to create the sound. Now you'll find uh, some of the websites I'm already involved in, this is a, a facility that is available. So again, this is another option that you may well find of benefit. Have a look at the website, see if it's the sort of thing you want, but if you type in text-to-speech into your search engine, this will give you the option of allowing you a whole number of resources that make your particular website or your particular PC more user friendly potentially for you and if you're sharing it with somebody that actually would benefit from speech rather than just reading this could well be the answer. I hope in some shape or form that this video might just have made you think about the potential possibilities that are available all of which are available for free. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to watch this.